Christmas wasn't so merry for many people when the packages they were counting on were not delivered on time. It's an issue here in the tri-state and around the country. Nine on your side reporter Bryce Onslinger is live with details on that, Bryce. Well, Clyde and Tanya, we've seen UPS trucks come and go from this distribution facility here in the West End today, but trucks were not on the road yesterday on Christmas, and many people expecting delivery say that companies like this did not fulfill their holiday promise. UPS drivers were back in action this afternoon after backlash from delayed delivery started to surface in the tri-state. UPS says it's delivered more than 132 million packages in the last week, but that's not enough for people like Vicki Madsen, who was disappointed to find out the present she bought for her daughter would not be there in time for Christmas morning, despite a guarantee from UPS that the package would arrive by the 23rd. I'd picked out Harry Potter stuff for my youngest. She's really into that. And um, I was really excited. I couldn't wait to see her face. And it didn't happen. So I was disappointed. I almost started crying myself. Yeah. Because I know my mom tries really hard to show that she loves us, and we know that she does. And it, it made. It made me feel good to know that she cares that much. UPS blames the backlog on an unprecedented surge in online sales and bad weather around the country. UPS released a statement saying in part, the volume of air packages in our system exceeded the capacity of our network immediately preceding Christmas, so some shipments were delayed. Many people went to social media to voice their concerns, with one person saying, busy in December? Who would have thought it? Hashtag bunch of clowns. Now, UPS says it does plan to make most of the uh, delayed deliveries today. Also, another company affected by all this is Amazon. As you know, they have a huge distribution facility in Hebron. And coming up at 6, I'll tell you how they're dealing with the problems of de delivery companies like FedEx and UPS. Bryce Onslinger, not on your side, live in the West End.